Welcome, folks. I'm your host, Mike Pugh of the FPC Virtual Channel, and you're tuning in to something very, very different and very unique. I'm trying to play around with OBS to create much differing effects. And all of this was done in OBS. If y'all folks want to learn how to do it, let's get it. Okay, so what we're using today is known as the image mask blend. Now with the image mask blend, you have to realize it's a filter. It's an actual effect filter. So in order to gain access to the image mask blend, you're gonna have to do specific things to get to that point. So I'll help you folks to learn how to do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start a whole new scene from scratch. Uh, right now we have four scenes over here. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. We're gonna start a whole new scene. Let's go into scene five. That way y'all folks can see how it would have started out for you with zero scenes. So we're gonna go to sources after you have your scene. You're gonna click the plus option and then choose what you wanna add. So say you wanted to manipulate an image per se, you can go in and create an image name it what you want from the create select source little pop-up menu go OK click OK and then browse the image file so try to find the image file that you think would stand out um, you would have to go and get free public domain images or create your own images um, anything else you're probably gonna have a little issue with unless you get a Creative Commons license and I have other videos that talk about that but Say you wanted to grab any of these images. Let's go with this one. Click open. And then you'll have to resize it if you want to get it to actually fit the screen. So you're going to have to right click on the actual image and then go to transform and stretch the screen to get it to fit the exact specifications of this palette area where the black rectangle was. That's basically where your video is going to turn out. And I can show you all that in a second. But for now, what I'm going to do is just keep building on this. So say now you want to blend it with some other background. So what we're going to do, you can right click or right click down here in the sources area. So we right click. And then we're going to go look for filters in the lower bottom portion and then click plus. Then we're going to go for image mask blend. What this allows you to do is activate a mass blend from a differing source. So you're bringing in another image, basically. So you can rename it if you want to name it, or you can just leave it default. You're going to click OK. And then here, don't worry about the alpha mask color channel yet. You want to add a path. So you're going to go to Browse, and you're going to find what you want to add to it. So say we wanted to add this background to it. We're going to click open and then it's going to try to blend those two. Now that's where the type alpha mask comes into effect. So what you're going to do is color channel. You click the drop menu here, then you can choose to change it to a different blend. And that looks really, really wild. We don't want that. That looks a little wild too. See, so depending on what you choose it may bring you a better effect let's go to select color and we'll go with a dark color to see how that affects it see that it, it does something we don't know exactly what it's doing but it might do something effective that you're looking for and that's that right there that looks kind of weird so <laughs> this might not be the best Let's go and drop the opacity down to 50. See, it's not the best blend because you can't really pull off too many different things. And the reason why is because you blended too many colors. So what we're going to do is go to browse and maybe blend it with a solid color. Let's try that and see how we can change the filter. Uh, bring this back up to 100 now look at it look what you created so there's different things that you can do obviously you can change color contrasts and extremes on 
desaturation by using different color schemes to merge in, which is pretty awesome. And you can use this color channel, alpha channel mask to pull it off to get the differing background effects. So these backgrounds are awesome for creating YouTube videos, obviously. And that's why I'm trying to, you know, play around with it. So let's go into subtraction. Look at that. So now that's all green. That all depends on what kind of color you choose to select. So say we wanted to go and drop it down a tad. Now that's a darker green. Let's go with raising the color to green. That's a brighter green. How about changing it to gray? Grayish is another green. How about going with that color? Now look what it did. That's pretty crazy, right? So let's go and try to do our addition subtraction now, multiplication, alpha mask. See that? So basically, you're manipulating the colors a great deal, coming out with differing effects. So hopefully, y'all folks like this type of video, and it actually will help you in your builds. Now, when it comes to throwing more stuff upon it, let's go back to uh, alpha, this one, and then bring the yellow in there because I did like that one. Now, say I wanted to bring myself in, hit the plus, and then go to video capture device, and then I can bring myself in there, and, and then I can basically be in a unique background that I choose to utilize, which is really, really not that bad, actually. I think this is unique. It could be something that I'm doing for a PowerPoint presentation, or anything professional that I choose to create, I can use this as a background. And I used a legal public domain to get that original image as a background to actually work on. So that's what you wanna do is try to find legal public domain locations and that will help you to get free images that you can actually utilize for your projects. And that will actually help you to go a lot further in terms of creating your different things that you wanna create out here. So other than that, I believe this will be a wrap, but I do have some really, really unique experimental tutorials and sessions for creating backgrounds. So I want y'all folks to give it a try to check it out. Hopefully you feel this can benefit other people and you're willing to hit the thumbs up if you liked it. You're willing to share it socially if you definitely think that it can help other people benefit in the future and also if y'all folks are kind enough, subscribe to catch the next videos that I have to offer, things like that, because that is what is gonna help me to go further with these videos in terms of being able to create higher and higher quality videos for y'all folks. I have a Adobe After Effects tutorial series that's gonna be coming soon for novice people, because I'm novice to Adobe After Effects, but I have learned some basics and understanding of what I can do to bring third-party software onto it so I don't have to do all of the work and someone else can do the work for me. I pay them, but I pay the third party and merge their, their files onto it, which makes the job much more easier than me having to figure out how to puzzle all of the digital components together and to make the virtual visuals come out. So <laughs> my channel is basically currently on a novice level but it's upgrading and is going in scale slowly but surely up in the ranks of creativity. Definitely in the ranks of creativity. I'm not really concerned too much with the viewership or subscriber base per se, but it would be awesome to have more subscribers. But other than that, I'm out of here. Jalo and peace to all. Mike be signing off and I'll see you in the next videos, in the next tutorials, etc. Peace. Alright, so I wanted to put this at the tail end for y'all folks who like to watch. Sometimes I do this prior to making my video so it could end up being my intro. I just like to show folks the real deal of what I like to do. Just to bling up my videos, y'all guys and gals, I highly recommend for you to try this, which is use makeup. Most ladies do it anyway, so I don't have to recommend it to them all 
you know, all those ladies, but some ladies may not believe in makeup. You know, a lot, most guys don't believe in using it, but it helps your videos, obviously. And um, other than that, I wanted y'all folks to see the finished product as well. So you can do, you know, different things like that. Let me transition into a different scene. And this is a crazy one, but let me show you the results of a mask blend that you can actually perform. Hold on one second. I will um, show y'all folks very, very quick. And you can do something like that and play around and really, really create different effects for folks to watch because you're creating maybe music videos or you're creating unique videos for how to or whatever you want to create. Just use your creativity, you can go very far. But you have to have the legal rights to your content, that's really important. Other than that, yeah, peace. Feel free to hit any of those things, the little subscribe button in any of the videos you see, and I'm out.